Let's consider two molecules, water or H2O and carbon dioxide, CO2. Now, the molecular weight of water is 18 atomic mass units, 16 in ox oxygen and two in from the two hydrogens. The molecular weight of carbon dioxide is 44 mu. So we have uh, 12 added from this carbon and 16 times two added from the oxygen. So water weighs less than carbon dioxide. However, interestingly, carbon dioxide is a gas while water is a liquid. So it seems counterintuitive. Wouldn't we expect something that's heavier to be more likely to be a liquid and something that's lighter to be more likely to be a gas? Well, let's try to understand why. So the answer to this question comes from understanding the shape and structure and the polarity of these molecules. So let's, let's step back and let's think about each step and analyze each of these molecules. So first we have the structure of the molecule. So water has two hydrogens with one oxygen. And so its structure looks like this. We have these two unshared pairs of electrons here and two bonds to the hydrogen. Uh, carbon dioxide, so we have a carbon and we have two oxygens. Each carbon has four valence electrons. Each oxygen has six. And so the bonding occurs, so to get the octets, we have bonding here, 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 and here. And so if I redraw that, I have double bonds in this structure. And there we go. I'll just cross this one out and we'll use this structure. So let's think the next step. What about the shape and the polarity of this molecule? Should, so oxygen is more electronegative than carbon or hydrogen. So we have the dipole going towards the oxygen. And we also have that here. The dipole goes toward the, towards the oxygen. Oxygen is also more electronegative than carbon. And so we do have polar bonds in both of these molecules. However, let's think about the shape. So when we have two bonded and two lone pairs, that shape is bent. But if we have um, around a central atom, we have only two electron groups and they're both bonded, no lone pairs, that shape is linear. So here's the model of each of those. Water with its bent shape, and then we have carbon dioxide here. The double bonds make this molecule a linear molecule. So we know that some shapes can cancel out polarity. So even though we have bonds in each of these, the bent molecule, the bent shape doesn't cancel that out. While the linear, these poles here cancel out. So it turns out that carbon dioxide is non-polar, while water with its bent shape is polar, or more specifically, it has a special type of dipole called a hydrogen bond. So this one is polar, and the I got ahead of myself a little bit here. So we've discussed polarity. The next step is let's think what type of uh, intermolecular attractions then would happen between these. So water's polarity results in a special type called a hydrogen bond. While nonpolar molecules 
they can only have the weakest type of attractive force, which is dispersion forces. Also called London dispersion forces. So the hydrogen bond is an especially strong dipole that happens when hydrogen is covalently bonded to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. We have with that bond a uh, very small hydrogen bonded with a strongly electronegative element and so the electron density gets pulled very far towards the um, oxygen resulting in a strong positive on the hydrogen and a strong negative on the oxygen. So as a result we have hydrogen bonds here, dispersion forces here. Um, we can now draw a conclusion as to why water is a liquid and carbon dioxide is a gas even though water weighs less than carbon dioxide and the answer is the attractive forces within water are stronger than the attractive forces within carbon dioxide. So water has hydrogen bonds, of course it also has dispersion forces as they all do, but the only type of attractive force here with CO2 is dispersion forces, so therefore water molecules have strong attractions to each other, hydrogen attracts to another oxygen, and so on, holding it in a liquid form, whereas CO2, the particles are bouncing around in that gaseous form as there's very little attraction between each particle.